<laughs> now you're being digitally What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alessandra. If you are new here, welcome back to another vlog. This is the start of the Montana and Canada vlog. We arrived in Bozeman like two hours ago and now we got our rental cars and we are on the way to West Yellowstone area. <laughs> Here's the car situation. We all got Wagoneers except my cousin and then my sister and her uh, husband and my niece are further ahead they also have a wagoneer so this is the the fleet that we have going on made a quick stop on the side of the road because one of my cousin's babies needed their diaper changed so we're here for a few minutes and then we're about to head back onto the road wow Ooh, i love the smell what is the smell of that <laughs> truffle oil oh. truffle oil not gonna lie the cars look pretty cool in front of me <laughs> like what first grocery run Hello, of the trip. Hello family. This no step destroyer, is the best thing can... ever. Oh, good job. Are you okay? Well, I'm at the grocery store. <laughs> Intern and we don't Good morning, everyone. Oh. Today is our first official day oh. of vacation. Oh. It is like 7, 7 13 in the morning. Technically, in Tampa, I believe it would be 10 or 9. For if it's two hours or ahead? Two hours. Uh, okay, yeah. So nine, and I feel actually like I got a good amount of sleep. Um, but I showered, washed my hair. It was just like the blowout after traveling and everything got greasy and touching and messing with it. So I was like, you know what? I need to just wash my hair, feel clean. I put my PJs back on. I'm gonna go make coffee, breakfast. Make this guy some coffee. Yeah, and then from there get ready for the day. I do have one or two little homework assignments I have to do at some point today, so I have to make sure I do that. I'll probably try to knock that out this morning, but the weather here is beautiful. But once the sun goes down, it gets significantly colder. A little egg white omelet with some spinach. Here's breakfast. We have egg whites, cheese, spinach, some fruit. We have Layla here as well. Eating strawberries. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Here is a little outfit of the day. Pink blue lemon top, Hollister sweatpants, Abercrombie crew neck, New Balances. And then, didn't put any makeup on, but just put on moisturizer, sunscreen, and called it a day. I had to sit and just grind out a little bit of homework and some notes because as much as I tried to get things done before the trip, I just did not have time. I ran out and got busy, so worked on some of that. Edited a YouTube video, which is uploading right now, and now I'm taking some pictures from my little sister. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that's what we're doing. I think we're gonna go to Yellowstone National Park at some point today, or somewhere around that area. Yes, we are. Um, I just don't know when yet because everybody's still kind of chilling. Some of us just got back from the grocery store and running some errands. So I don't really know what the plan is when we're leaving yet, but yeah. It's some PB&J sandwiches for the road. We also have some granola bars in the fanny pack. in Yellowstone we entered in from the west entrance and then drove for a little bit and now we took a little stop while we're on the way to Mammoth Hot Springs and now we are seeing this beautiful waterfall let me show you guys we're gonna get back on the road to Mammoth Hot Springs my hair I feel like it looks st straight like I guess it is the water. I don't know. Mm -hmm. My hair looks straight. It doesn't look like the hair. I mean, I like it. It just doesn't look like curly or anything. Yeah, because there's no humid. Yeah. Some jerky. How was your bathroom experience? Disgusting. <laughs> the the little outhouse out there. <laughs> there's poop everywhere, guys. Watch out. There's like yeah. Hot dog. Oh yeah. Go ahead. A little hot dog. 
Hot Springs Hotel. We were actually gonna try staying here, but they were pretty much booked out when we were looking because we waited too long. But we just finished eating. You see the sign, y'all? And all the poop. We're definitely gonna see some animals here. Walking over to the Hot Springs right now and look right there. There's some elk walking around. Yeah, look. You see the pine tree over there? You see? Checking out the Yellowstone General Store. Let's see what's in here. I'm gonna buy a smoky bear. Some little bears. Shirts. Aw, a little crew neck for Layla. In pink. A little coconut water because we have all not been drinking enough water while we've been here. And we got one for my mom, Victor got a chapstick. And now we're meeting back up with the rest of the family that didn't go over to the hot spring. We've been chilling outside at these picnic tables for a little bit because apparently at like six o'clock, all the elk, or I guess, I think it's the elk, some of these animals just start like coming through this whole area. So we're waiting for that. Hopefully it happens. My aunt's been here a bunch of times before and she's seen it. So it'll be a little bit disappointing if they don't, but we did see a lot of elk already. So that's what we've been doing. It's 5.52, so we have about eight minutes uh, to see if there's any action with the animals. But right now I'm gonna go move the Wagoneer over to where we're sitting. And I haven't driven this car yet. Apparently I'm supposed to be driving this home. It's a two hour ride basically. And this is a big car. I've driven my mom's Jeep Cherokee, which is a third row. It's big, but I mean, I'm not used to driving a car this large because it's even bigger than my mom's car. So we'll see how it feels. But just wanted to give you guys a little update. I hope that this vlog is going kind of smooth. I am trying to film as much as I can, but also still enjoy my time while I'm here because I'm on vacation and obviously I want to be like present in the moment. But at the same time, I love recording everything and having memories of everything and being able to look back at all the stuff that we did and saw. So I don't mind being on my phone a lot or being on my camera a lot because I like getting these moments. So I'm trying my best. So hopefully everything you know makes sense once I edit it later, but I just wanted to give you guys a little update on things are going. I successfully got us home safe in this big ass car. Honestly though, doesn't even feel like you're driving a car this big. It really feels so smooth. Fire pit here and I believe there's one out in the back somewhere, but I think we're gonna try to maybe hang out outside sometime. <laughs> Making some hot chocolate and then we're gonna go sit outside. We're ready with our hot chocolate. <laughs> hot chocolate, but we need it to be a little bit warmer, so we put it back in the microwave. From the wood, yeah. There were some strange noises. <laughs> like something was being filmed. What's up, y'all? I have not talked to you all day because I worked out this morning, ate breakfast, got ready for the day, and then we headed over to these waterfalls that are over here in Yellowstone. We were supposed to meet up with my family, then we all left at different times. So now it's just us, the main group. We finally found out where we're going because we went to the wrong place. And then we saw everybody, well, we saw my sister's car passing us on the way back to where we were supposed to start in the beginning. So now we're here at the waterfall. We made it to the waterfall. We took a billion pictures. And I'm dying from the stairs right now. <sighs> Finally home. I cannot even express how good it feels to be back in this house because 
I'm so exhausted from driving all day. But let me give you guys a little recap on the day and what exactly happened. So my sister had a school call at 11 o'clock. So everybody else just headed on over to Yellowstone Lake and we were gonna meet up with them there. But on the way to Yellowstone Lake, there's this waterfall cascade thing. I cannot remember right now what exactly it's called. But we were supposed to stop there on the way and then collectively meet up at Yellowstone Lake. So we're driving, okay, I'm driving, and we don't see anything that like sticks out to us like, oh, this is where we're supposed to go to go see the waterfall. So we just keep going and we go all the way to Yellowstone Lake and it's this fishing bridge area, but there's not really like too much to look at. Like the lake was beautiful, obviously. Everything around here is beautiful, but there wasn't really anything, you know, crazy going on and we didn't see the other cars and the other cars left before us because we stayed behind for like 30 minutes so my sister could finish a school call that she had at 11 o'clock with an advisor so everybody else was already gone for like 30 minutes so we thought oh like they should definitely be there before us didn't see their cars nothing and then we decided to just go and try to find the waterfall so we had to go kind of retrace our steps finally found the waterfall as you guys saw in the clips earlier um and it was gorgeous leaving that area we see my sister come in the other direction, their car. We didn't see my cousin's car, but we just decided just let's just go our own route. And once we're done at this waterfall, we go try to find a grocery store. My dad was trying to cook fish tonight, but he didn't really see any fish that kind of stood out to him quality wise. And the grocery stores around here aren't really big. They're pretty small. Um, and they don't have a lot of like, at least the ones that we've been to didn't have a lot of like meat and fish options. So, uh, on the way back, after we got out of the West Yellowstone entrance, we stopped at a grocery store and now we are finally back. I think I drove like, it was like two hours and 14 minutes there and about the same to get back uh, home. So, you know, with the stopping and everything, it was probably like five hours of driving, which I don't think I've ever done in my life. I've maybe driven to Orlando once, which is like an hour and a half, uh, like once or twice in my life. Cause every time my boyfriend and I go to Universal, he usually drives, so I, I'm so happy to be back in this house. I'm gonna take advantage that nobody else is here and put some of my lighter items to wash because we leave this Airbnb tomorrow, so we have to make sure that uh, you know we're all set to go. And I'm not trying to rewear the outfits that I'm washing. I just don't want to have a bunch of built-up, dirty clothes because uh, I brought a lot of stuff. So I want to make sure I use everything that I packed. I don't really think I showed you guys the area that my boyfriend and I are staying in in this house, but we are up in the loft area so it has the tv couch some like board games and stuff over there uh there's two rooms here a half bath and a full bath but yeah we decided to pick up here um we put all of our junk on this little like twin bed and we are obviously sleeping in this i think it's probably like a queen size bed it's very comfortable and the sheets smell very clean which is very good the sunset is absolutely Stunning. I love it <laughs> so much. It's our last night in this Airbnb. So my dad just cooked up some pasta. We're about to eat dinner right now. I'm showered in my PJs. I don't think we're going in the hot tub, but I do think we're doing a fire pit bonfire outside. So I'm excited for that, but I'm definitely gonna put a jacket on because I'm freezing right now in just this very thin PJ, but it is so beautiful outside. And I'm really gonna miss this Airbnb, but we have about a week and a half still left of this trip. So we obviously have to make the most of it. A little homemade pasta from my dad. It looks so far away yeah, in no, the camera. So nice. <laughs> wow. Take a sip. Oh, wait, it is! Hey, I've been taking a shower every night. Yes. There we go, that's how you do it right there. Ooh. Oh! Don't mind me, I am so tired and my hair is a mess right now. But the next day we left our Yellowstone house. I loved that cabin, it was so nice. Um, it was really cozy and I just loved the scenery. It was beautiful. We are on to our next location. We're going to Whitefish, Montana. We left this morning and I've been driving the last two and a half hours and all of us decided to stop at this truck stop. And there's only porta potties here. So we all ended up just 
going to the bathroom because you gotta do what you gotta do. There wasn't another truck stop or rest area for another 30 miles and all of us had to pee and I needed to switch. I was like starting to get really sleepy for the last like 20, 40 minutes trying to stay up while driving and I told my dad, I'm like, we need to switch. I have to switch right now. So we pulled over. Everyone's finishing up using the bathroom and then we're gonna get back on the road. We still have about four-ish hours until we get to Whitefish. I think we're gonna stop at Cali Spell before because that area has a lot more things to do, grocery stores, and there's also this coffee shop that my boyfriend and I've been to and I think uh, my little sister's boyfriend has also been there before, but it's called Black Rifle Coffee Company. So we might stop there. And if not today, then obviously we can always go tomorrow morning, but the drive has been really beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, great scenery, but at the same time, these straight roads for like hours and hours gets you so tired. Parents, we dropped off at the grocery store and my boyfriend and I, my little sister and her boyfriend are at Black Rifle Coffee Company, which we've been to before in Tennessee. So we had to come stop by here and check it out. It's like 30 minutes from our Airbnb, so not too far. We just ordered a coffee, oh, I got a matcha. And now we're just kind of taking a look at the merch while we wait, but it feels really great to finally be in the area that we need to be in. And we're so close to being out of the car. I'm very excited. This coffee shop is really cool though. Has lots of seating outside, the fire pit, lots of merch and just different coffee items. And it's literally gigantic. It's kind of dark, but let's try this matcha. I had to take my Invisalign out and do it until now. So, it tastes pretty good. Okay, wait, actually my mom texted me. She's probably down at the grocery store. Like in comparison, this is how big it is. Look how gigantic this is. Hold up, let me show the sides. Like if I'm Ooh. standing next to the door. <laughs> it's crazy. But look at that. Yeah, we have a lot of stuff we need to get through. Stocked up. This is a dream fridge for sure. Flexing a fridge that's not even yours. <laughs> yeah. This is a really good kitchen. And there's three three floors. Wait. No, four floors. Four. Four floors. I just wanted to give you guys a little update because it's been a long day. Lots of driving. Tomorrow we're supposed to go to the gym in the morning. <laughs> Six in the morning. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning everyone. It is the next day and as you guys saw we went to the gym. We conquered the gym this morning. I was up at 5 30 which I honestly didn't think I was gonna go but I did. I actually wasn't that tired to be honest. I woke up pretty easily, got ready probably because it was just so cold when I woke up that I needed to get dressed as quickly as possible and then what else? Ate some Kodiak waffles, banana, then we headed over, I did a leg day, I did one little upper body like row workout because I didn't really feel like doing upper body, some abs and obviously legs as you guys saw. The gym was honestly really great, it had a lot of machines to pick from, it wasn't busy which was amazing. And then we headed over to Black Rifle Coffee again because it was right behind it. And we're also getting breakfast um, at this little, what's, what are these things called? I'm like blanking. Food, food, truck. food truck. We're at a food truck right now, getting some breakfast burritos. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of sleepy on the car ride over here because it was so early. But once you work out and you kind of do your thing, it's not as bad. It's a good way to. Oh, guys, we are on a hike right now, and we're on the uphill part right now, which 
is very tiring. I was holding my sister's baby for a little bit too. So, you know, we got a double workout in. My legs are dying. I'm trying to catch my breath. Layla! She's looking at me while I'm filming. But, um, it's beautiful. And I love the fact that all the leaves are changing colors. Look at these. Stuff is like really expensive here. My sister has this bag. This little bag is $3,000. It's much later in the day. We got home from the gym and coffee. We showered, got ready for the day, even went to the sauna. There's a sauna in this Airbnb, which I don't think I showed you guys. Uh, some of us decided to go out into like the downtown Whitefish area and just kind of see what the stores are looking like and just kind of you know, be touristy and see what's around. And right now we're in this antique store, which is super cool. It has a lot of stuff in it. There were some really pretty rings up there too, but they were like 10 karat gold. And I I'm, I'm prefer more of at least like a 14 karat gold. Um, but they were also really expensive. So I don't know if I'm trying to spend like $400 on a ring. <laughs> tacos, fries, some more tacos, but with barbacoa and a nice cold coke. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna take them again. Thanks. It's our second to last full day here in Whitefish, Montana area. We are in Glacier National Park right now and it is literally so beautiful. We've been taking pictures for like 30 minutes now and videos and it really is so nice. We haven't seen any bears unfortunately this entire trip and my dad really wants to see bears but we haven't seen any which I mean is a good thing I guess. So we obviously don't want to be too close um, with any sort of bear encounters but uh, he definitely wants to see at least one at some point, but I don't know when that's gonna happen or if it's gonna happen. Today is pretty cold. I think the high today is 58. So I have a little Lululemon jacket on and my puffer, which is back there. And I think we're gonna maybe head to a different part of Glacier National Park in a little bit. I don't know exactly where it is or how to get there. So we gotta figure that out. But I drove all the way over here and we were like driving through the woods, having to pull over because other cars were coming from the other direction and the streets are like so, Tiny, like the roads are so tiny and then i think there's also some oktoberfest thing going on in the whitefish town but i don't know if we're going to that today or not a quick photo op by the sign nice cool. <laughs> he's just standing there as he's enjoying the cold drove over to another entrance of glacier national park and we are at lake mcdonald and i think after that i don't know where else we're going but I think this is supposed to be Apgar Village from what I saw on the sign. So checking out this lake and then probably gonna get back into the car at some point and move on to our next location. We are at Oktoberfest in Montana, y'all. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is the next day. It is our last full day in Whitefish House. But we are starting off my birthday, my 25th birthday, at the gym. Grab my drink in peace, Jesus. Stopped at Black Rifle again. This is probably gonna be our last trip here unless we get up early tomorrow before we leave to Canada. So I'm gonna enjoy this matcha. Also getting a little breakfast burrito here at this food truck, which we got the other day as well, and it was pretty good. Look how big these burritos are, guys. They're huge, and they're pretty thick too. As I mentioned earlier, it is my 25th birthday today, September 27th, and all week we were thinking of some sort of outdoor activity to do. It was going to be horseback riding, but it's booked until next week, so we decided to do zip lining instead, which I think is still going to be a really fun time. I know some people are nervous, but I'm not really nervous. I go on roller coasters and stuff at home all the time, like in Orlando, so 
I'm ready for this, but we have to go in, get our weight. We already did our waivers last night online, used the bathroom, so let's head inside. Here's all the equipment. zip lining and I finished my burrito because I only ate like half of it before we headed off to the zip line place and then packed up my things because we do leave this house tomorrow which is really sad because that means that we are halfway through this trip already which is insane because time just goes by so fast but I just made sure that everything is packed, picked out my outfit for you know the five hour road trip we have tomorrow to get to Canada, washed my hair, I just have it tied back just to keep it on my face for a moment. I have my PJs on already, I just wanted to shower and feel clean because we were gonna go to the Cali Spell town after or before dinner, but when I was looking at some of the stores that were there, like they were closing soon, or by the time that we would get there, the stores would be closed. There's not really a point to head that way, but it's fine, we have Canada to explore still and we're kind of close to like a city area so I'm sure that'll be a great time. And Thank you so much. Wow. Aesthetically pleasing ones. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wow. Are you guys too? No. You're, you're so driving? Yeah. Mira, oh, peperonita, buenísimo. That's what I want. Peperonis, you. How adorable. This is the next day. As you guys saw yesterday was a travel day. We were driving to Canada. We made it across the border, got to our Airbnb, and after we kind of settled down and everything, we walked over to get some pizza and then we also got ice cream after in the same plaza uh, and those two spots are actually like eight minutes from our airbnb so it was really nice um being able to walk there not having to drive to go anywhere so we just kind of relaxed after dinner and now it is our first official full day in canada and this morning i think i showed you guys a little clip of going to this bakery and we got some croissants baguettes little pastries and things so people can eat that with their breakfast I also got a coffee and they don't have ice drinks at that specific spot so I had to get a hot latte which is not my usual but it was really good and then we came back got ready for the rest of the day and we we're gonna be going to this little shopping center I don't know if it's like a mall or what it is but there's a Lululemon there so we're gonna go head over there maybe do a little bit of shopping i don't know yet and then tomorrow we're supposed to be going to banff national park on this bus tour so we don't have to drive our cars which is going to be nice but yeah a little shopping day the kind of walking around the town is the plan for today lululemon trying on a few items here at lululemon because it's cheaper to buy here than in the United States. Did a little bit of damage in Lululemon, but technically it was discounted, so it's less damage than I would have done in the United States. Uh, Victor and I are on the hunt to find somewhere to eat because we're getting a little bit hungry. I didn't eat that much for breakfast. I ate some oatmeal and a little chocolate croissant situation, but I need something to eat. It's been a few hours. <laughs> Victor and I are getting some ramen. We waited probably like 20 minutes. So it has a lot of rewards outside. Got one of our first little appetizers. Let's try it out. The sauce. Also got some pork gyoza to try as well. Got my ramen finished up our ramen and everything and it was pretty good. We give it like a eight and a half out of 10. I actually enjoyed it a lot. And I really have never gone out to eat ramen before. So I enjoyed it. It filled me up. I don't feel like disgustingly full because a lot of it is like soup, 
but there was a lot of noodles too so it is currently 41 degrees outside and some of us decided to walk the it's 14 here, minutes to Woo. dinner tonight because we're just so adventurous um it is pretty cold my hands are cold my face is cold Ooh but we're almost there and it's a brazilian steakhouse i haven't been to one since we went to like texas and brazil with my family like a few years back so we'll see how this one is look how adorable i love it oh you beat us here how fast are you wow kiara got a little mocktail action with this is the blueberry breeze and i got a frozen pina colada we got our first rounds of meat, some sides going, some mushrooms down there, Caesar salad, fries, drinks. <laughs> is, it, is it going? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there y'all. We're walking off our 30 bajillion course meal of meat. And it's freezing. It's 37 degrees. Or, it's 37 degrees right now. I can't focus because they're singing behind me. But as you guys can see, they have Christmas lights already out. Which we obviously love. Uh, Shut up. Shut up. Uh, you know, Carol they don't want me to be Carol YouTube famous, Carol. so hey, they're just purposely hey. ruining my clip right now. <laughs> but we're about a few minutes from home. Whoa. Don't know what we're going to get into, if we're even going to get into anything. Because tomorrow we're going to Banff <laughs> National Park and we're going on a bus tour in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> We are on our bus tour. We just arrived to Lake Moraine, right? This is not Lake Louise. Yeah, it's a Lake Moraine. It's okay. Lake Moraine. Oh, God. I'm dying. Anyways, currently going up these steps to get over to this view of the lake from above. It's freaking so cold. And I'm freezing right now. But. These stairs are hopefully gonna warm me up. Never heard no, literally, I'm like, I'm my face. eating a little pan a chocolat. I think that's how you pronounce it, but a little, basically, the chocolate croissant we got from the bakery this morning. Oh, They're really so good. good. It looks so beautiful in this lighting. <laughs> oh, wow. Actually, I had a bunch of flowers out there, so flowers are probably hit by flowers. We are at Lake Louise right now. <laughs> And the view is pretty nice. I'm going to show you guys in a second, but it is, like I said earlier, freezing. My hands are so cold right now. I'm definitely, I was trying not to buy a beanie because in Florida, you don't really wear them. But it is so cold that I might give in. This is so beautiful, guys. I believe this is the Fairmont. Apparently, a lot of famous people here, or a lot of famous people have stayed here, and like politicians and things from other countries I got my own beanie at roots so I didn't have to borrow anybody else's and I guess I can use this back at home when it does get cold for like those couple of months but it's cute it was like 28 Canadian dollars so I don't know exactly what the conversion is to US but it was cheap eating a little homemade sandwich while we are in the Banff Town Center So if you look up here, on the side of that mountain up here. It is Tuesday, October 1st. And I don't know if y'all can tell, but we're going horseback riding. We didn't get to do it when we were in Yellowstone or Whitefish. So we decided let's take a look if there's anything available in Banff National Park area. There was some availability for today. We're gonna start in about 10 minutes. We use the cowgirls room really quick because we're gonna be on there for about an hour and we're obviously not gonna be able to stop to use the bathroom. So we're just preparing. It's really cold outside. I even double, le I wear double leggings today. I have a long sleeve, a defined jacket and my puffer on and I'm still freezing. So I don't know how we're gonna do it, but hopefully we warm up just from like the nerves of getting on a horse. Next. Oh, 
This is me and Watson. This is Buddy Watson right here. <laughs> Brother Watson. What was your horse's name? What? what was your horse's name? Diesel? Oh yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> My How gosh, was that? My legs are like numb. <laughs> How was that? It was really good. <laughs> How was it? Good. Cruise? How was it? I'm freezing. It was fun though. I think it's pretty good too, but my hands are pretty much frozen. Yeah. He just popped it out though. Just finished eating some poutine at Bam Poutine. That's literally what the restaurant is called. It was really good, but hella cheese curds. I could not eat all of it. Um, but it was nice, something like hot to eat after being in the cold outside for so long. But I had a great time horseback riding. I haven't done that since I was probably in like middle school when we went to Tennessee and did horseback riding there, but it was a fun time. I would definitely do it again. It was about $78 for the hour, which honestly is not bad. I've seen some more places that cost a bit more to go horseback riding. We're gonna go kind of walk around Banff and go to a grocery store and then head back because I have to take an exam for for one of my classes. Good morning, everyone. This is the last day in Canada, which means that our vacation is slowly but surely. Coming to an end. <laughs> coming to an end, and I'm honestly depressed about it. Of course. <laughs> um, so we got up this morning, ate breakfast, and now we're gonna go check out that Canmore town because um, they have some cool little shops and stuff there. I think that's undressed. Crossing oh. the street. Oh, that is on the um, But we're going to Camor. We haven't really checked out that town besides going to dinner one of those nights at that steakhouse and then the ice cream shop. So we're heading to that little town, see what stores and shops and stuff. Maybe get a coffee. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't had coffee today yet. So. So we got a little. What a view. We are at our next location. This is called The Uprising. It's like a pastry sandwich coffee shop. Uh, he was craving a sandwich, so we decided to come over here and try it out. Really am not that hungry, and I feel like I've been eating so much bread. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have a bite though, of course. But I did also get a matcha. I had my latte, but matcha doesn't really do anything to me. Coffee also doesn't really do anything like energy-wise. So I feel like I can have both, and then that's like acceptable, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, of course. <laughs> Look at this matcha. Let's mix it up. It's not sweet, but it's also not like plant tasting. So I would say. Like an 8.5 out of 10 matcha. Let me try the sandwich that I didn't order for myself because I wasn't gonna get any more bread, but we obviously have to take a bite out of our, out of our boyfriend's sandwich. It's nice, like a fresh. It has like cucumber and stuff in it. I think it has apples in it too. I like it. Just the view walking back to our apartment. I'm gonna go back to the Airbnb, chill for a, a little while. And then I don't know what exactly we're doing later, what we're even eating for dinner. So I'm sure we'll have to figure something out and then maybe go out and about in the town again since it is our last evening here. Oh. Lovely dinner talks. <laughs> YouTube! 
YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Oh, God. Well, yesterday was a very long travel day. We had about an eight hour drive from Canada to Bozeman or Bozeman. I might totally be messing that up. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But uh, yeah, we drove eight hours. We had like two stops, maybe like 10 minute total of stops yesterday. Like we just wanted to get here as quickly as possible. And we got here two hours earlier than the other cars that were like with my other family. So we were just trying to be speedy. Now it is our last day of vacation and we're just checking out downtown Bozeman. We're here on Main Street. It has so many stores. We're we'll doing a lot of walking today and then tomorrow we go home back to Tampa. Yeah, 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 yeah. How cute is it in here? Do you like this? downtown Bozeman and my sister wants to go to Ulta so we're gonna go head over there and then figure out lunch I made a little purchase at Lululemon because they had the store here I had to obviously go check it out and I got another pair of mini flare aligned leggings so those are my favorite out of all the leggings they have the mini flares specifically are the best hey guys, we ate dinner earlier just like a small dinner nothing crazy because the place we went to didn't really have that many options anyways then dropped off some of the older people at home and then the younger crowd and my dad went out to downtown bozeman again to get a little drink and enjoy our last evening of vacation because we leave tomorrow so we're at this place called long i think it's called long long line I ordered a little coconut rum drink. We're just gonna chill here for a little while and then go back to the hotel.